Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Raycast 2D, how to use it, and I'll also give you an example of how I've set it up in this project here. So in this project, I have a basic drone controller, and this will basically play a landing gear animation when the drone is close to the ground. So you can see if I hover above the ground, the landing gear goes up, and then when I land, it folds out. And this is kind of an animation based on the position of a raycast. Now, if you don't know what a raycast is, I have set up an example scene with a basic raycast, and we have a line to represent this, but you can set the target position of a raycast and it will move along that position until it collides with an object, which you can define in the collision mask. Now I've set it to collide with the world and any objects in my game, and it will only collide with these if they are within a 50 pixel range on the y-axis. Now we can obviously increase this to something like 100 if we want, but I'm gonna keep it at 50. Now in this example scene, I've also set up a line 2D to kind of visualize where our raycast is going in the game. And I also have a label that can display some various info, which we will be setting through the script. So in our raycast script, we are basically getting the raycast node on ready storing it in this variable. And then in the ready function, we're kind of just setting up some line stuff. You can ignore that. And then in the physics process, we are going to check if the ray cast is colliding with an object by using the is colliding function. Now, if it is colliding, we can get a couple different properties from the ray cast. So we're going to say collider is equal to raycast.collider, and this will kind of get the node which you are colliding with, and then we can get the collision point, and if you use the get collision point method, this will return the point of the collision in global coordinates. So I'm also creating a variable here to store the local position. So all we're doing is converting the global collision point into a local point with the to local function. Now in the next line, I'm setting the text of the label equal to some basic info, and I'm also setting the color of the line 2D, but you don't really have to worry about that. So to see it in action, we're gonna go back into our game, and I'm gonna show this Raycast example node. And when we go ahead and play the game, you can see we have this line, and then when we are colliding with something along the Raycast's line, it will show what we are colliding with, the point and the local point. So you can see this kind of in action, and you can see this is kind of how I used it for the landing gear animations. So I'm basically just getting the point of the collision and then the distance to that point, and then tweening the rotation of each of these landing gear parts to a position on a curve, so I can define kind of how much I want them to rotate in during the landing. But that's basically it for using raycasts. If you'd want to check out the documentation, there is a couple more functions you can use. For example, a Raycast 2D will only update once every physics frame, and then we'll store the collider until the next frame. So if you want to update a Raycast multiple times in a frame, then you'll want to call the force Raycast update method. And also, if you're trying to send a Raycast outward in a bunch of different directions, um, you could either use multiple ray casts, but I find that to be slightly inefficient. So if you'd want to do that, you can always use a shape cast 2D node, which will work in a similar way, but I won't cover in this tutorial, but just search for shape cast 2D, and this will cast out points in a shape. But anyway, that'll do it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, make sure to leave a like. If you need any help with game development or Godot specific topics, you can join the Discord server and go to the game dev help channel where I'll try to help you out. But that'll be it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.